Okay, in the last video we looked at inputs, so we're going to use them a lot again in this one. But we're going to start to look at selection. So again, we need to use the non-interactive window. So when we go find our new file, file save as, and again because we're trying to make uh, our naming logical, I'm going to call this selection. Now, as in the previous session, we're going to start with taking some inputs from the user, and the one I'm going to use to begin with here is name. So again, I'm going to say name equals input. I'm going to say what is Like in the previous ones, we can put comments in here to say name is an input which takes the user's name. I don't want to put an output yet. I want to think about how this person might be feeling. So we're going to ask a second question. I'm going to call this one feeling. Now feeling is going to be an integer input, so it's going to take a number. So feeling is an integer input. In this, going to say, um, how are you feeling today? Press one if you are happy. Two if you are okay. Or three if you are sad. I'm going to close the speech marks. Now, remember at the start of this line, we had two brackets open, so we need to close both brackets. We press enter and take it onto the new line. Don't worry if your code goes off the edge. Okay, you can use your arrow keys to move across. And you can also click on the line below and just press the back arrow key once, which will take you to the previous line. So it's not a big issue. There's also an option if you're using your idle to go into options, go to configure idle. And you can change the size. You'll see mine's unusually large here because it works better on the screen capture. Normally, I'd have this about a size 10. Okay, so we've got a second variable here. So, feeling um, asks the user how they feel and stores a number. Now, if we've got a um, number input and we're asking for a feeling we need an output that matches that so the way we do this is we say if this one here this uh, variable so if feeling equals one we use equal equals in python to show if it's actually equal then we can say print and we said here how are you feeling so press one if you're happy I am really pleased to hear, remember we used name up here, that you are happy name. Let me close the brackets. We will have two more options on here. Now, in Python, we don't use if more than once. If there's more than one if, we say elif. So if feeling equals equals two. Now, we can't see it. We can go across. Two was okay. And three was unhappy or sad. So we're going to say if the feeling equals equals two, then we're going to say print. Notice each time I input one of these, it indents. Now I just pressed enter and you'll see it's indented underneath print. Now that's not right, which means I've missed something out. Because what should happen is it should be indenting there. Okay, so this is again. So elif feeling equals equals three. And you'll see this indents here. And the reason it indents is it shows that this only runs if the condition above, which is elif feeling 3, applies. So if we choose 1, 2 and 3 are ignored. If we choose 2, 1 and 3 are ignored. So we're going to say print. Oh, what's wrong? Can we help? Now, if I did this better, this would actually not be a print. 
this would be another input where the user has a chance to ask some questions. But for now, let's just write this out as a standard bit of text. So, oh, what's wrong? Can we help? Name. Okay, and we'll run this. So we're going to go to run. We're going to go to run module. Now, if I've made a mistake in this, it will tell me. So press OK. So what's my name? James. How are you feeling today? Fairly happy. So we press 1. I'm really pleased that you're happy, James. Now, we don't need to change the code if we want to run it again. So go to run, run module. So while I'm happy, Sam's only having an OK day. So we're going to say, what's your name? Sam. How are you feeling today? 2. I'm OK. I'm sorry you aren't having the best day, Sam. So you can have personalised responses based on their input. And we can use this to make things like a magic eight ball, but we'll obviously need more options. We can't just have three for that to work.